Hey, welcome back everybody, Sign here again with episode 15 now of my Engineer's Life 2 playthrough, and dealing with the fallout of another mining trip. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in there. Alright, let's go ahead and guess I can drop some of this stuff off in here. And I took, just finished taking down my old storage building, so of course bricks can go in there. You got a home for most of the other stuff over here. Those can go there and like spruce wood. There we go. All right. I've got a few odds and ends like the uh, the faucet. And I got some saplings and stuff. Let's go ahead and get that put away. Bamboo. Now there was something. Okay, scaffolding I can make. Ah, yes. It was the, uh, the strainers is what I needed bamboo for as well. So this iron mesh is just four iron bars. Do I have those? Yeah, I do. All right, go ahead and get this thing made up then. And then it was like so. And uh, let's see, get the bamboo spikes. Uh, let's see, trainer, paper lantern. Two of them turn into one stick, okay. Eh. Paper wall, scaffolding, bamboo bridge, bundle, bamboo mat, bamboo sheet from the veggie way, which I can turn into paper, or large sheets, which I can cook into leather. Okay, that's kind of cool. I just need a uh, hand scraper. Sweet. And three of these turn into a flute. Hmm, interesting. So how bad is a garden cloche to make? Uh, vacuum tube. Okay. All right, pretty basic. All right, awesome. Because I'm definitely thinking that closures are going to be the way to go. Uh, one other thing I wanted to do while I'm here is let's go ahead and get some reinforced blast bricks going. Mm, I just heard wandering trader, and it literally just started raining right before this. Ah, yep, we have one. Oh, are you out of saplings? Oh, here, let me uh. Fix you back up there. There you go. Sea pickle, rock salt, swamp willow, frozen flesh. That's weird. I mess over that. It makes these disappear. Acacia and puzzle. Acacia for five emeralds, though. Frozen flesh, nah, but uh, go grab a, some emeralds. We'll get a couple of those. Swamp willow. I think I've seen them before, but. Oh well. Not like I'm really hurting for emeralds right now, and it's really not hard to go get more. What I need to do is find a way to pick up and move uh, mobs around, though. Hey. Okay. Uh, yeah, I want that. Mm hmm. Yes, I know. You make all sorts of weird, happy noises. Yep. Palm tree grew. Awesome. This one hasn't quite yet. A tiny, tiny jungle tree. I mean, look at that. A birch tree there, but this one grew pretty good. I hope I can get, you know, a decent number of saplings out of that. Oh, we've got the little cyclone thingies over there again. Oh, yeah, I need to head down here. Oh, we got phantoms too. Hooray. Uh, I think it was down this way. Yeah. This is where I ended up putting my water strainer at. Okay. And that. And empty bucket. Sure, why not? Let's just go ahead and scoop that up, clean it up. Got a smithing table and a crafting table down here, but yeah. Kind of sort of about it. That's an empty room. And I got phantoms to deal with. Here, let's just go ahead and we'll come over here. And I just... Ow! Break, break this block. Ow. 
help. <laughs> well, that shot completely, didn't I? Okay, I see you there. Ow, I didn't see the other one though. Are you shooting at me? I just saw particles go flying by. Yep. Yeah, it's shooting at me. I think these things must just uh, spawn on sand then. That guy. Bit more aggressive than I'm used to dealing with lately. Alright. Oop. Ray, free sand. All right. Need to set up a meat grinder too. Oh, I'm actually kind of hungry. So I have a chainmail helmet with Gourmand Two on it. it. Gives you extra food whenever you eat. A lot of extra food. All right, now you are pretty much done. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and take this out. Get this stuff put away for now. And... That spot? Yeah, it's okay. Smooth stone. I remember if it was smooth stone where that was, or if it was the polished paving. Alright. So I can make an improved blast furnace now, which I do have the quest for us. Go ahead and take a look at that here. Uh, yep, that gives me some randomite. And now it's like, hey, make a blast furnace preheater, which requires external heater. Not bad. That's like 11 copper, four iron, and then a bunch of these iron sheet metal sheets. Hey, got two nether quartz out of that. Uh, yeah, See, I'm out of copper pretty much right now. Copper wire. And I got a stack of copper plates, but not much to use those on. I am, however, up to five stacks of copper. Oh, cool, you're finally done. And I did finally make a backpack. Oh, I still have more ore in here. Oops. I'm putting another stack of copper. There we go. And I did finally get around to making that, uh, the backpack and been using that for mining excursions, which is pretty handy. Uh, where's the bobble? Oh, and then there's still... And you just access it with a hotkey, so... Not bad, it doesn't take up any any slots, it doesn't go and place your chest piece, which is nice. Which is one of the reasons I don't usually do the, like, the wearable backpack stuff. It's because it usually, or used to anyway, just like sit on your, your chest plate slot. And... At that point, I'd rather have the armor than, uh, here's the ears. Okay. I'm going to make a bunch of glass here. Uh, yeah, at that point, I'd rather have the armor than the extra storage space. I'd rather survive my mining trips rather than bring back more stuff, you know, off my corpse. All right, and you doing okay? I had me another hopper to feed coal into the blast furnace. But, I mean, resources are uh, kind of sort of looking nice, actually. And one thing I also noticed is... Well, that's good. Nickel and then that away. Uh, this thing, you can't run after a long mining trip. So I made, you know, four more thermoelectric generators because, well, they're really not that bad. Now it's enough to run this thing full time plus the press. Before it was draining the batteries and the machines were starting to stutter and that's just not a great sound to be hearing. So also drawer controllers I have no requirements now. I'm not sure if that's a bug or not, but I am definitely going to make these. So I need like 11 total, two, I need six redstone, and I'm going to need a drawer as well. So. This trash slot it doesn't interact well with custom GUIs like, you know, this one. And we'll just do like that.
And that goes like so. Then I'm going to need a diamond and a drawer. Okay. Oh, diamond. Pretty easy. Should have everything I need over here to make a storage drawer. Drawer. Diamond for a controller. Awesome. And we're just gonna... Really, no quest complete for that. Okay. I also made concrete and slag bricks, because I want to start building with those here soon. And I got two iron ingots out of that quest for, for making building materials, which is kind of handy. The poet made it anyway, so... Like, thanks for the free reward. Um... Yeah, this is all li low voltage. I almost said light voltage. Medium, high voltage. Then there's the Paraday suit at the end. Okay. Nothing really to worry about right now. Uh, storage, though. Simple storage solutions. Advanced storage, maybe? Nope. There's really no quest for the uh, drawer controller, huh? That's kind of odd. Would have expected that. What's my percentage on this, anyway? 83%. Cool. Still need the platformer. Still need a mining helmet. Uh, floor mats. We looked at those a while ago. Worms from the uh, water strainer mod. Which, you can make garden trawls out of bricks and sticks and dig up grass or dirt, farmland. And 25% uh, chance. Farmland gives you 50% chance, so might be worth hoeing the, the ground first. But I think I'll be using sticks to uh, terraform, or not sticks, trowels to terraform with, just to get those worms. Uh, we got a sleeping bag and hammocks, okay. Oak bedside table, that's supplementary. Builder's crafts and additions, okay. So that is, eh, not bad. Oak tables, slabs, fences, and then three vertical slabs, so side to side, okay. Uh, we got the macaws windows stuff. Paper lanterns from Quark, which is after the candle, which, yeah, I can make those too. I mean, I could just sit down and just do a bunch of quests real quick. Um, probably not though. I'm kind of curious about that drawer controller. Are there any storage drawer quests at all? That's the question. I haven't really seen any. So, gold chest. Has no requirement now. Look at that. Hey, you. Boom. Okay. Well, I mean, that's easy enough now, isn't it? Uh, let's see. I don't think I have any... Oh. I think it's just two and six. Um, I don't think I have any extra iron chest just laying around. That's what I was going to say, and then I kind of tapered off to nothing. And then we're going to do Iron Box, which I should already have the quest for. Then we can upgrade that to gold. Quest complete, and then diamond. And stone coin. Oh, hooray. And another stone coin. Uh, well, it can't always be something useful now, can it? Then there's the crystal and obsidian. Now, crystal chest is just a diamond surrounded by stone. Or not stone, glass. Obsidian chest is a diamond chest surrounded by obsidian. So I'm not fond of, yeah, having both of those. Uh, obsidian chests are nice, though. Blast resistant. You can, you can have a creeper go off on top of it, and the chest is fine, which is kind of sort of handy. And then I did get a few quests done down here with the uh, skills progression. Oh, yay, stone coins. And there we go. Mainly at this point I'm doing it for levels because you can see I'm down to level 27. But I now have an efficiency or a, there we go, efficiency for fortune 2 pick. And I had to spend a stupid amount of levels just to get that to be a thing. 
the uh yeah the quirk enchanting not my favorite oh yeah a diamond pick that i made oh hey diamond coin all right and that is a quest complete for 10 levels um wait for one for golden ring golden ring knuckles what the heck that is and then a book that goes sword axe or the pickering still no use for the monster coin um and they're all for one let's just go ahead and do i guess do the knuckles first i mean curious knuckles slot hands one on hands plus four attack damage so i can punch things that that's not yep there we go so plus four damage when i punch something now interesting uh, it could be handy i guess uh, let's see mob drops up to 30 phantom membrane now though which honestly buddy cards that's about the only thing i'd use it for that and repairing elytras which is the main reason i want a good size stockpile but there's our drawer controller and now comes the fun bit of I want to try to automate processing of steel if I can at this point. But what I'm looking at is space, right? Let me go ahead and do this. Add that to our, our wish list here. I can get rid of that now. So I'm going to need a new place to put that, which is not the greatest right now. Um, cause there's terraforming involved. I mean, I don't have to terraform it, but I do want to just like cut this back and just push it way back and do all that stuff. But I need to make a foundry building, which for me is just going to be a place that I can have, you know, coke ovens. I need to do the coke ovens in a separate building, honestly. But I have like a lumber production coke oven that way I can make charcoal or whatever because wood and a charcoal to steel is a bit more sustainable than coal to coke to steel this is because it's one less thing i have to go out mining if i have an automatic tree farm we're good yeah so we got a coke oven building we're gonna have a okay, coke oven building then or sorry tree farm oaks you know the coke oven the uh, blast furnaces and then that can lead to a major processing area where I can get like plates and so on and so forth out of it. I'm not 100% certain. I'm going to break my axe. Dang it. Uh, wood cutting. A diamond axe needs wood cutting 40, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, I can use it as a weapon. But I need uh, wood cutting a 40 in order to, to actually use it as an axe. Well, now that I can make plates, I'm going to go ahead and make an iron axe now. And mainly because it's now like three iron equals a three or equals an axe. So I was just kind of avoiding it before because it was six iron for an axe. And it's like, yeah, no, it's just not worth it. But yeah, in the meantime, I guess I can just go ahead and uh, see, this is what four blocks tall in here. Here. I mean, I could put it up here without a problem, right? I mean, it'll fit. The problem is I can't really easily automate the thing. Oh, well, for one, I put it right underneath a lantern. Because uh, it's exactly four blocks tall, the multi-block is. And I need a hammer. And the fall damage is intentional. I'm trying to build up my endurance stat still. There we go. There is our improved blast furnace. Uh, if I want to automate it, I have to be able to put items into the top, which means probably a hopper or something up there. And that means I have to punch to the ceiling and then, yeah, access it all from up there. Oh, nice. Preheaters left and right. Uh, Preheaters are a thing I could do. 
Uh, let's see, I should have all the materials. Yeah. We need that, that. I'm going to need some copper. And redstone. So I need two copper coil blocks. Oh, that is always a lovely sound the llamas make, isn't it? It means I actually need two ingots of iron, too. All right, so that goes like so. Then you, and then it was one, two, like so. And more iron. Should have just grabbed a stack of the stuff. Oh, well. Oops, that's extra. All right. External heaters, which is a quest in and of itself. And then I need these guys. I need 14 of these uh, sheet metal blocks. I only get four per recipe, so I made two extra. Whoops. Last furnace preheater. Honestly, I usually don't make them preheaters because I honestly don't usually have power running in the neighborhood of my blast furnaces, so. Yeah, and if I place you here, then yeah, you're going to do that number. And rotate you. Yep, sweet. So I would just have to give this thing power somehow, which I have no power up here anyway. Not the greatest at that point. And... I mean, it does accelerate it, but I don't know. You know what? Here. You can have that and that. I do believe it is a little faster than the standard blast. Maybe, actually. I've never done a side-by-side -side comparison. But uh, it might be faster, might not be without the preheaters, but it is automatable now. So you can automatically feed things in with a hopper on the top and then pull slag and steal out. Well, it'll auto eject those anyway for you. Oh, can you not do that anymore? I mean, I am going to need some, mind you. Oh, that's right. You can dye it now, too. Forgot about that. Uh, you used to be able to uncraft these things, though. I think you got one iron plate per. Sheet metal shoots. That was a quest complete as well. And basically, it's just a way to drop items in the world. Yeah, move them down vertically. And not have to worry about picking them up or, you know, basically, actually, that's it. Don't have to worry about picking them up. Uh, let's go ahead and put our plates back, I guess, for now. You can go there. And let's see what we got. We had... I get a stone coin for, really? I get a stone coin for iron tools. Oh, there's no iron coin, right? Uh, stone copper. Oh, there is an iron coin. Can you give me a stone coin for that quest? Dang it. Oh, well. There's my preheaters. Hey, cool, I got an emerald. I'll just do that, which is a great way of just emptying your inventory out. Double click on the storage drawer. And... Reward collected Caesar salad. Quest complete Caesar salad. There's our external heater. And now let's look at making the small laboratory furnace. Faster and vanilla furnace has an internal inventory. It can have an external heater placed inside to accept RF power to speed up smelting. Also, pretty cheap. I mean, it really is. So I need a hopper. That's going to be five of those. I'm going to need... Do I have... Oh, yeah. Uh, it was what? I need seven of these. And I need a furnace, which I may or may not have one lying around. I do. That uh, trader needs to just go away. Yes, you. Small laboratory furnace. I believe, though, it counts as a regular furnace, not a blast furnace. Really, is there no, like, recipe button in here? Uh, here. 
Give me a stack of that, would you? And give me some of this. Yeah. It can't do ores. Dang, I was hoping it could. Oh, wow. I got a lot of stuff processed. <laughs> okay, give me that back. You can go into there. You need a couple stacks of coal to keep this stuff going. Oh, hey. Let's complete jumps. I, didn't even, I completely forgot about that one. All right. No, not there. There. Thank you. What I get for, for jumping all everywhere? Okay, so that furnace gets me some of that and that. Jumps gives me a loot crate. With a piece of charcoal. All right, then. Lovely. Uh, the downside of this furnace is there's no external indication it's running. I think it'd be kind of cool if this little slot here this would turn red. But, oh well. Actually, let's see. We got our jumps done. Next up is, that's my distance walked. Uh, jumps is 10,000. Or no, sorry, 100,000. I've gotten 10,000. Ah, oh, really? 10,000 already? Dang. Distance walked. 1.5 million. And then... 3 million. Okay. And then the Caesar Salad quest. I'm assuming it was one of these up here. With no rewards attached to it, right? I'm not seeing a... Uh, a marker that, hey, uh, you have one. Uh, that's the Decker... And Rizala do, do do. Yeah, it's gonna be in here somewhere. Oh. So, don't see it though. Alright, now leather armor just gives me that, okay. Iron's level 10, 15. Really, 10 for iron, 15 for chain. Mm, that seems kind of backwards, doesn't it? Oh, well. Thud. Ow. Alright, so we've gotten some stuff taken care of here. Go ahead and drop this iron grid off as well. Uh, Yeah, I need to get a few things together and... Give me three of these for now, I think. And one, two, three. Get some trowels made up. Which, I'm surprised that wasn't a quest, but... Oh, well. Oh, yeah, I never made this redstone lantern. That is a redstone torch surrounded by iron nuggets. I'm kind of curious about that one. And nuggets. Dick. Redstone. I am really looking forward to refined storage, though. Really am. I need to look a little closer to see what uh, has moved forward and what hasn't in the uh, the features. Alright, so... Activating Cinder Redstone. Could be a signal light. Okay. What book did I get? Elfering may steal a piece of armor from hooked targets. Cool. And I did figure Outlaw out, uh, thanks to a comment. You know, it's like, hey, look it up in JEI. It's like, okay, yeah, because I'm used to enchantment descriptions not working with modded enchantments. So I didn't even think about it. Yeah, no, it's a uh, deal extra damage to villager type targets. Okay, yeah, so it just shines red. That could be useful, actually. Indicator lights. Uh, do we have... No, we don't. Oh, that's a shame. Um, Wily Coyote's other mod. Uh, Wily Coyote, I, think, I believe, is the one that does Engineer's Decor. Um, also does switches and gauges. Redstone switches and gauges. And it's very much in the same design style as, like, you know, Mercer Engineering and whatnot. Actually, now, see, now I need to look up.
Engineer's Decor is by Leo Craft, huh? Nope, Wiley Coyote. Coyote, yeah. So it's W I L E C H A O T E. So, but Engineer's Decor. Uh, other mods is. The gauges and switches mod and engineer's tools. Engineer's tools, I can understand, with not being in here because it might break things. Uh, gauges and switches is up to one sixteen, but yeah, it's it would fit wonderfully with the uh, the aesthetics of this mod, so I may just add that in. But it's just what it says in the box: gauges and switches, it's a bunch of redstone control devices and whatnot for uh, for Minecraft. But it's in the style of immersive engineering and whatnot. Well, relatively, kind of the. Uh, the more industrial feeling without it being futuristic. So, I mean, that's that's an idea. Uh, let's see. So yeah, I need to I, I need to get to digging is what I need. Yeah, I took down most of the stuff over here. I'm gonna push this back to at least like here-ish, I think. Gonna uh, we are going to small tunnel. Just as a, a one by one tunnel, pretty much. It's very handy for clearing terrain quickly. I don't one-shot that guy. Usually even with a crit, it's still two hits. Hey, I found a grass treasure. Huzzah. I need to find a use for large amounts of dirt, I think. Found a tall grass treasure. Nice. <laughs> found a tunnel. All right, um, yeah, and then I need to take this down one more block as well, I think. All right, so how many worms did I get? Uh, 39, that's actually not, not terrible. Oh, I just destroyed those bushes, didn't I? Oh, I got them. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see, don't need these seeds. That was weird. I hit Q over that and it put the remaining ones from the stack that I tried throwing out into my offhand. Yeah, don't don't worry, dog. I haven't forgotten about you. Hey, sweet quest complete worms. Alright. Can we pick up all this stuff since it's a lot easier just to break the block underneath you than it is to go through and chop it all with a sword. Well, my farming is almost up to 40, which means I'll be able to start using a diamond hoe soon. And where have I been putting my worms? I, oh, there we go. There you are. All right, now uses for dirt, though. Planters. Catchers from productive bees. Okay. Dense grit sand. I don't really grow on it. Position dependent texture variations. Interesting. Okay. That is something new added in. I haven't seen yet. Potter from supplementaries. Gain clinker brick. Barrel planter from builder's craft. Uh, worm farm. Coarse dirt. Those for growing manual. Dense dirt grit. Stuff to play around with. Rocky dirt, which I did play around with, and it was, eh, it's okay. Uh, hydroponic bed. Dirt chest 9000. It's still a thing. Awesome. Use it in cloches. Dissolution chamber to make mechanical dirt. Worm drops and bee flowering from the quarry bee, which. Is a healthy obsession with stone. 
stone, sand, and gravel. All right. Good to know. But I think I need to actually finally focus on my warehouse. Because, I mean, this is just like a temporary structure that's actually big enough to do stuff in. Actually, I might... I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet. I can say I turned into a restaurant, then I got to pull the iron bars and stuff out. It doesn't really feel kind of like a restaurant either. It, actually, it kind of does look like one, doesn't it? It looks like a fast food restaurant, really. Like an old McDonald's or something. Yep, yeah, the, the egg or the chicken nest, by the way, from Formula for Blockheads only holds four eggs. So something to keep an eye on. Really, I have been sitting here for that long. Oh, there we go. It's got a max limit. Okay. Oh. And now I found that I can actually grow bamboo, which is awesome. Well, duh, I can grow bamboo. I can turn bamboo into leather, which is awesome. So that's definitely going to be in the future. Oh, I got the bowl back. Um... Where do I have a slot for bowls? Not particularly from the looks of things. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, between episodes, I'm going to push this back. I'm going to get working on an actual tree farm, which is probably just going to be, honestly, um, more of, more like this. Right, I mean, this is working great. I'm... Um, Getting decent materials at it. Not fast, but oh well. It doesn't really have to be. Just constant is the main thing. I'm not at the point now where I need fast farms. I just need, honestly, automatic ones. I do kind of like that planter, though. But uh, I need to get a tree farm set up. And then we'll uh, do tree farm. Do some coke ovens, probably have, I don't know, three or four of them. And then a foundry so I can do my blast furnace and whatnot in there. Uh, let's see, where have I been putting eggs? In the mob traps? Yeah. That'll be in the future. For right now, I want to make a candle because I can't remember exactly how good these things look. Mm, yeah, they're not bad. Do you go on walls at all? <laughs> no. You just slide right down. Okay. And let's see, the candle was a thing. It was up here. It'll give me a dark oak sign. And then we just need a paper lantern. A artistic knot torch. An artistic knot torch, maybe? So I needed like two bamboo. I'm going to need six sugar cane, which that's something else I need to get working on too, is a sugar cane farm. Honestly, I'm going to close that one. So it just seems like it'd be about the best bet for that, given how you have to harvest bamboo in this pack. Paper lantern. That'll stick to the wall. It doesn't connect to the wall, though, from the looks of things. It works, and I need an axe to break it. Then there isn't there. I can find this with a sapling. Yeah, and I get the decorated one. And then it puts, like, a cherry tree on it. Yeah. There we go. So, yeah, that's the, the paper lantern from Quark. Uh, it's not bad. It, it's a little spendy for my taste, but mainly because of the uh, the glowstone. I think I'd prefer using a torch instead, but oh well. And it's design choices Basky made on that one. All right, but yeah, see, I've got 
lots of planty stuff I gotta deal with. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna put my bushes away, and it's like, ah, dang. So I definitely need to get a, uh, like a true, true storage system going at some flavor. This is still, I mean, the wall drawers is nice. This is just still a mess. So I need to, need to do something about that. But thank you for coming out. I hope you're enjoying this series, and until next episode, sign signing out. Have fun.